Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Nick from NickWilt.com and welcome to another exciting Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over how to achieve the solarization effect within Adobe Photoshop. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to say that I now have my very own website, which is essentially like a portfolio and a collection of all my images, as well as a place where I'm going to be posting everything that I do online. So, the link will be down in the video's description and I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd check it out, and if not, you don't have to. I'm not telling you to do it. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. But now, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So today we're going to be doing the solarization effect, which essentially what that means is we're going to be taking the dark areas of a photograph and making them lighter, and the light areas and making them darker. And that's actually better explained by the Wikipedia page, which just says, dark areas appear light, or light areas appear dark. And to give you guys a better idea of what I'm actually talking about, I just googled solarization photography, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples from Google Images, and then we're going to jump into Photoshop, and we're going to show you exactly how we're going to pull this off. So I have a couple of examples right over here. You can feel free to pause the video if you want to look at something that you like. And without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. So I have a couple of my own examples right here, and these are the final images that I've actually produced. This is just a couple of pictures of ice cubes right here, and as you can see, the light areas have become dark, the light areas have become dark, and the dark areas have become light. I think I said that one too many times, but I'm going to show you the original image, and then I'm going to go back to the solarized version. So if I hide the adjustment layers, this is the original image. And then if I bring them back, this is what it looks like when it's solarized. Now, there's a couple of different things you can do with that. For example, I somehow managed to come up with this. And I'll show you how to do that later in the video. And then there's also this, which is just a picture of the headlight of my car. This is an example of something that the solarization effect doesn't really work really well with. So you're going to have to basically choose the photos that you want to really wisely because if you choose the wrong photo something really weird can happen like this I don't even know how I managed to get this to happen but that happened and without further ado now I'm gonna change the subject and I'm gonna show you how to pull off this effect so I'm just gonna get that out of the way and I'm gonna load up the image brand new without anything else in it and the first thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to do this with the basic built-in filter that Photoshop has. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to unlock my layer over here and I'm going to duplicate it so that we don't mess up our original image. And then we're going to go up and add the built-in solarization filter. So we're going to go to Filter, Stylize, and Solarize. And... Bam! There we go. It took a little while to load up, but that's the basic filter. So that's what Photoshop thinks that the solarization effect should look like. And obviously, we have absolutely no control over what we're doing whatsoever with this effect, and we want something that's a little bit more refined. So I'm going to delete that out of the way, and I'm going to show you two different methods to get these effects done using the curves adjustment layer. So the first thing I'm going to do... I'm going to go over here to my little adjustments palette and I'm going to add a new adjustment layer for curves and I'm going to bring that out and make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing more properly. Now before we get started I just wanted to show you a little trick that you can do with curves. Normally curves looks like this where you have just a small grid that you can mess around with, pinpoint and play around with your points in order to basically change the exposure. But if you want to do something that's a little bit more refined, if you hold down the Option key on a Mac or the, or the Alt key on a PC and click within the grid, you get a couple more grid lines so that you can be a little bit more precise with your, with your calculations or whatever. So the first thing that we're going to do now to get that effect is we're actually going to go over to this little pencil tool and we're going to click in the corner where it says the input and the output equals zero. And then we're going to go up here to the top and we're going to hold down the shift button and click again in order to create a line. And as you can see, we've already started to change the image. And we're going to do the same thing down in the bottom corner with I think input equals 255 and the output equals zero. And there we go. That's the solarization effect. It inverse the whites and the blacks in order to get an effect that looks like this. So all you have to remember is make sure you grab the little pencil tool and make an upside down V with the curves and that is the way to get this done. Now in order to refine this a little bit more perfectly and make it a little bit better I normally like to add in a second adjustment layer for curves and mess around with it in order to bring out a little bit more detail but you can choose to do that on your own time. So now I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the effect where we did this and that uses the curves layer too. So I'm going to delete my two curves layers and I'm going to add in another instance of curves 
And this is found from another solarization tutorial that I found, and it's essentially a little bit different. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab the little icon down here that messes around with the shadows, and we're going to drag that completely up to the top so there's absolutely no shadows whatsoever. Now we're going to add in another point, drag it down, and put in some more shadows. And there we go. There's a couple more ice cubes with a light background instead of a dark background. Now you can refine this around a little bit more in order to bring out more detail. And in the tutorial I watched, it suggests making a W shape. And that worked for, for this right here. As you can see with this picture, the W shape with the curves actually worked. But for the ice picture that we're doing before, that doesn't exactly work. So you essentially have to experiment and play around with the curves layers until you get something that you actually like. But essentially, that's all that you need to know in order to play around with solarization. All you need to do is know how to use the curves layers. And that's essentially it. So I'd just like to say once again, thank you all for watching this tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've made videos and I kind of sound terrible and I've lost how my, I've lost how to talk in videos. So just bear in mind, bear with me here. I'm a little rusty at this, but I'd like to say thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.